Hello students, welcome to this lecture on A to 7 in Keyboard and Interface Controller. So, A to 7 in uh, has some important features like uh, it has simultaneous keyboard and display operations. So, uh, mainly this A to 7 in is used for interfacing the keyboard and display operations with uh, microcontrollers and the microprocessors especially with 8085 and 8086 and in the microcontroller sections uh, it is mainly used uh, in with uh, 8051 other uh, like uh, pick microcontroller and all uh, have their own um, keyboard and display uh, uh, modules for uh, uh, for making the, this kind of operations. So the basic microcontrollers and basic microprocessors needs this 8079 for their uh, interfacing of uh, keyboard and display devices. So it have uh, simultaneous keyboard and display operations. Uh, it may be used in uh, scanned keyboard mode or scanned sensor mode also. Uh, it uses uh, uh, 8 character keyboard uh, FIFO that is the first in first out uh, buffer. So this buffer used for uh, getting the um, getting the first keys information. So it can store up to 8 characters. And also uh, in the display section it, it uh, displays 16 characters. And, uh, and in the display, uh, it have display RAM, uh, the size of the RAM is 16 byte and it can uh, either used as uh, right entry or the left entry. That is, uh, uh, if you want to display a particular, uh, uh, particular character or a particular word, then it may be from right hand or from the left hand. So you can roll on that particular display. Uh, uh, so that rolling display needs this right and left entry so that can be implemented using this display RAM and also it have programmable scan timing operation also so this is the uh, 8 to 7 in pin configuration so the uh, details of the pins can be uh, seen in the uh, next uh, some slides here we have A0, uh, A0 pin that selects the either uh, either this particular input pins that is this uh, uh, DB, DB0 to DB7 are going to be input input for the uh, particular uh, A to 7 uh, controller. So this input may be used as a data or, uh, or uh, the particular input uh, can be used as a controller status word. So this controller status word needs to be used for read and write operation with the microprocessor and with the peripherals. So this 8 to 7 name is going to be a central processing unit for uh, uh, processing the keyboard operation and the display operations with the uh, in order to help the microprocessor because the microprocessor cannot do the uh, processing of information uh, which uh, needs to be done for uh, uh, for the kind of uh, display on the keyboard uh, uh, keyboard hardware so the processing and all can be done with the use of 8 to 7 so that the microprocessor uh, need not to be loaded with these kind of operations so the, so that is the main uh, main uh, advantage of uh, using a to seven in as a separate <coughs> separate controller for uh, keyboard and the display operations so uh, the next uh, uh, next pin is going to be bd bar this bl uh, this blanks the display so whatever may be the display uh, comes in the uh, display section so that can be blanked by the uh, by this pin so by giving the low supply to this particular pin uh, it may be uh, blank clock so maximum of 3 megahertz may be uh, may be given for this device uh, but uh, the 
but this device is uh, commonly work in the range of 100 kilohertz uh, why because because this uh, particular clock has been divided by 31 and if you if you divide the part, uh, divide this particular uh, frequency by 31 then you will be getting value of 100 kilohertz that is the operating frequency of this particular 8079 so normally uh, in order to making the uh, division operation so it needs uh, the uh, uh, synchronized clock with this particular device <coughs> and uh, afterwards we will be using control or strobe pin in order to control the keyboard operation so uh, this pin can, can be used for controlling and the strobing of the uh, uh, bounced keys. Uh, next, we will be having the chip select pin. It uh, enables the programming and training of the keyboard. And the DB7, uh, that is DB0 to DB7, it can be a bidirectional pins that connects the data bus and to the microprocessor. Uh, Interrupt request pin. Uh, since this particular uh, device that is this A279 use, uh, uses with the keyboard uh, if you if you uh, if you input the information on the keyboard the frequencies of the signals may be converted into one uh, information that is the binary information that binary information will be stored in the FIFO queue of the A279 so upon uh, upon the pressing of the first key the first information that is the bit uh, corresponding to that particular uh, key may be input into the FIFO queue so upon uh, inputting that particular information to the FIFO queue the uh, 8 to 7 generates an interrupt to the micro micro uh, processor so that is the interrupt request pin that is being used for this purpose next we will be having the out uh, pin so out pin having two different categories one is A0 to A3 and another one is B0 to B3 and this is going to be used for the displaying purpose so uh, the A0 to A3 may be uh, less significant bits and uh, sorry most significant bits and b0 to b3 may be less significant bits read and write will be used for making uh, to interface with the microprocessor for uh, reading the status and the data registers and reset uh, and uh, r0 to r7 may be used for say uh, written lines or input used to sense the key depression in the keyboard matrix and also the shift key will be used for used with this particular shift operation so since we have only eight uh, inputs uh, eight uh, inputs may be, given, may be given to the eight lines which are used here but the return and the uh, shift keys are being used differently so that uh, that and all been, uh, been connected with the with their corresponding pins in the A to 7 and uh, this A SL0 to SL3 are being used for scanning the input and the output operation uh, for the keyboard and the displays so uh, scanning of the outputs may be done by using this uh, SL0 to SL3 because the scanning of uh, uh, this particular uh, pins are uh, used for the keyboards and also for the for uh, uh, driving of the uh, uh, driving of the drivers in the display uh, display hardwares <coughs> this is the black diagram for the a to 7 name so here you can you might have seen that data buffers are used so this is the fifo buffer the FIFO buffer may be interfaced with this particular FIFO sensor RAM. So this so FIFO sensor RAMs are uh, controlled by the key by key debounds and the control operation. So that uh, so this particular section has been controlled with the 
then the uh, processor will the, that is this 8079 will generate an interrupt in order to getting the uh, getting the notice of the microprocessor <coughs> next we will be having the display section uh, so the display section will be having the output 8 output lines uh, that can be divided into 2 e0 to a3 and b0 to b3 uh, so the simple group may be used to as a A0 to B3 or it can be used with two groups of four lines in conjunction with the multiplex to display controllers. So whatever may be the uh, configuration we will be using. So uh, depending upon the configuration we can connect the display section pins with the display hardware. And we can, uh, we can connect the output lines uh, connected to the anodes through the driver transistors in case of common cathode 7 segment LEDs. So uh, how to connect this particular output lines with this uh, display section uh, will be given as an example the latest lines. Uh, cathodes may be connected to the scan lines through the driver's uh, transistors. So output lines may be connected to the 7 segment LEDs common cathode or a common anode or uh, cathodes may be connected to the scan lines through the driver transistors. So we can connect the uh, blanking of the um, uh, display by connecting the BD low line to that uh, particular display and also we, uh, we will be using 16 cross 8 display RAM for the display purpose. Uh, next we will be having SL0 to uh, uh, scan section. Here we will, we will be having the uh, control lines as SL0 to SL3 uh, and these four lines are controlled by the scan, con scan counter. Here we may be using uh, two modes. One is decoded scan mode and another one is encoded scan mode. The decoded scan mode, the 8279 will be uh, acting similar to the 224 decoder that is if you are giving two inputs then we will, we will be getting four outputs <coughs> and in the encoder mode the scan lines will be, a bound, will be as binary counter so external decoder may be used for converting the binary count to the decoder output so whatever may be the four inputs may be given so that four inputs may be encoded into two uh, outputs so that that kind of operations may be done uh, or if you if you connect uh, externally uh, larger or the uh, or many devices so we can use external decoders for using in the uh, encoder scan modes uh, the scan lines are common for the keyboard and the display purposes and the scan lines are used to form the rows of the matrix keyboard and the uh, also connected to uh, digit drivers of the multiplex to display to turn or on or off. So CPU interface uh, mainly consists of DB0 to DB7 data transfer between 8079 and the CPU and uh, the internal address may be selected by the A, A, is equal, A0 is equal to 0 if you are uh, selecting that particular bit as 0 then uh, it may be used as a data buffer or if uh, A0 is going to be kind of, uh, selected with an 1 then it may be used as a control register of A to 7 so whatever may be the uh, input we are giving where either if you are giving a data or if you if you are supplying with an particular control word then uh, then that kind of uh, control may be uh, done by the um, done with the help of a0 pin so afterwards we will be having the control signals wr that is the write signal and read signal and the chip select signal and the a0 signal for writing in the re reading of the reading to the a to 7 interrupt request pin is also coming under the section of CPU uh, interface. Uh, this operation has been discussed previously. So the same thing uh, will be uh, given here. <coughs> Internal clock frequency of uh, 100 kilohertz is assigned. So uh, in order to uh, in order to uh, comply with the uh, 
synchronization of the eighth uh, microprocessor to the eighth seven nine will be using three megahertz uh, signal. So that three megahertz signal needs to be synchronized with the eight seven nine and the slower devices like uh, keyboard and the display controllers. So we need to synchronize the both clocks. So in order to do, we we need to divide this particular clock frequency of three megahertz into hundred kilohertz by dividing that particular clock frequency by thirty one. So that may be done by the internal prescaler. For uh, synchronization operation between microprocessor and the, uh, the keyboard and the displays. So this is the hardware unit which uh, uh, which will be a practical uh, practical circuit may be used for uh, interfacing with eight zero eight five with the eight to seven nine. Here we are having eight zero eight five here. The interrupt request may be connected to the RST 5.5 of the uh, A08 with the interrupt request pin of the A279. The data line may be connected with the uh, uh, with the directly to the AD0 to AD7 of A08 with the A279. A0 may be connected with the help of a uh, uh, 8-bit latch. So that is being used for controlling either we are using uh, data or a control at a, uh, at a given time. Uh, reset pin may be, you, may be directly connected to the 8079 and read write clock. This, uh, this uh, signals are uh, being connected directly and the clock signal may be connected with the help of a clock, uh, clock uh, driver, sorry, clock divider. So that clock divider may be designed with the frequency dividers uh, using the analog circuits and the chip select pin may be connected with the help of uh, 3 to 8 decoder for uh, addressing purposes so uh, so it may be connected with the 3 to 8 decoder or it may be connected with the help of NAND gates so whatever may be the logic we need that uh, that kind of logic may be used either 3 to 8 decoder or NAND logic uh, R0 to R7 may be connected with the keyboard, uh, keyboard matrix may be connected with the R0 to R7. So another section may be, uh, may be connected because uh, keyboards will be having two uh, different grids. One is uh, with the rows and the one with the columns. The columns are connected with the R0 to R7. The rows are connected with the scanning lines of the uh, A279. So uh, that scanning lines are connected with the help of 3 to 8 decoders. So because we need to have uh, three inputs from the A279, but uh, in the keyboard we will be having eight inputs that to as a rows of the keyboards. So the rows of the keyboards may be connected with the uh, eight outputs of the three to eight decoder. So that eight eight outputs of the three to eight decoder may be connected with the uh, three inputs that is from the eight to seven nine scan lines. And uh, out lines of the eight to seven nine uh, from is O uh, O zero to O seven may be connected with the uh, transistors. That uh, transistors are being connected with the displays. Here also the uh, uh, common anode and common cathode may be connected with the different uh, sections. One common cathode sections are connected with the out pins, and common anode sections are connected with the scan lines. So, so the, this is the uh, full. Uh, Full circuit of the 8079 interfacing with the 8085. So, uh, next we will be seeing the uh, initialization of the 8079. So, initialization may be done by the following steps. Uh, we can uh, first we have to be blanking the format. So, blanking format have to be done first. Second, uh, error we may use left. To right or right to left, that kind of uh, in, uh, that kind of entry on the key, uh, key roll over uh, mode may be 
first news allies. So whatever may be the uh, entry or the mode of operation of the A to seven inch keyboard section that need to be first initialized. Next we have to initialize with the clock frequency. Clock frequency please please color may be uh, may be uh, come uh, with the output of hundred kilohertz, but we will be uh, supplying with the three megahertz uh, input. So, uh, signal so that the input signal may be divided with the 31 so we will be getting the clock frequency as the uh, as, uh, as the output of the pre scalar upon reset this 8 or 7 sets the uh, 16 bit character display with the 2, uh, two clock out keyboard starting address and the incremental mode of 54 have to be first initialization and the RAM addresses have to be initialized for making the read and write data. So these are all the steps we need to do in the in case of 8 or 7 initialization. So how to do these steps maybe uh, uh, be explained with the uh, help of the initialization control words of the 8 or 7. So here we may be using different control words for different uh, settings so keyboard display mode setting we may be using this control word 000, zero, zero. Uh, here we may be setting d uh, d d for the uh, setting of the display and k k for the setting of the keyboard setting so whatever may be the uh, initialization we need to do that can be done with the help of this uh, this control word so if you want to use 8 bit character display from the left entry you, you can use 00, zero. if you use 0116 8, 8 bit character display may be used with the left left entry and uh, this kind of this uh, display character displaying of the characters as 8 bit uh, uh, 8 8 bits or 16 8 bits with uh, right entries may be used with the 10 and 11 is uh, inserted here as a mode setting also for the uh, keyboard operation so encoder scan keyboard two key lockout may be uh, programmed with the 000 and other uh, possibilities may be here even notice so here also we can set uh, with the two modes key lockout mode or in key rollover mode so whatever may be the mode we need to do that can be programmed with the help of this particular control word. So here you can notice the control words are uh, being uh, different in nature that uh, the first three bits are going to have uh, give the particular uh, uh, particular operation of that particular control word. So we, do, we don't have any different uh, control words or different registers for making the control words but here we, we, we may be specified with the operations that operations may be then specified with the last three MSB bits of the control words so, uh, so the last three MSB words of the control words need to be uh, memorized so others we, we may be setting with the help of the uh, control words which have been given so here program clock may be set with the help of this particular control word read display RAM may be con set with this control word and the display write uh, in, uh, inhibit or blanking may be done, done with this control word that is 101 and clearing 110 and uh, end of interrupt may be done with the 111 here for clearing we may be clear with an all zero for all ones or uh, we, may, we may give some <coughs> different words also but for the CD bits used in this particular uh, control word so for reading before sensor RAMs we may be using 010 for writing display 100 for reading it is 011 so for writing it is 100 so these two have to be keep in the keep in the mind so uh, where, where to get this particular initialization of the 8 to 7 9 is uh, from the data sheet we uh, i have got this particular uh, control words so you can refer to the data sheet of the 8 to 7 9 so here uh, there the uh, uh, 
very uh, brief and the detailed explanation has been given in the data sheet of the 8 to 7 and we can refer to the here uh, I have given an initialization program. So first we need to initialize the keyboard in the display mode. So that has been given here. Here if you give uh, 0 0 and 0 0 for the DD and the KK then uh, we are actually selecting the 8 character display left entry with the encoded scan keyboard with the 2 key lockout. So if you press 2 keys simultaneously it will be taking only 1 key. So that has been uh, programmed here as the move immediately a comma 0 0 0 0 0. So uh, this program this particular control word is loaded into the uh, accumulator so that particular accumulator value is been out with the uh, command power command port address of 41 h uh, after that if you if you want to program the program of the clock so that may be uh, done with the help of the words which we are giving so here uh, we need to divide the particular clock by 31 so that may be given with the <coughs> 111 for the uh, P uh, bits of the program clock control word. So if you give that particular input, then if it, if it is going to be transferred to the 41 address, so that program clock may be set. And afterwards, we will be clearing the particular display with the uh, clearing all the bits with the zeros. So if you want to clear with that particular uh, values, so we may be supplying with 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So if that is going to be the case, then we may be uh, clearing that particular bits with all zeros and uh, enable the clear display when 1. That is, if you enable this by 1, so uh, clearing of the display will be enabled. So clearing the display with the zero zero zeros are done with this particular command. So MVA A comma one one zero 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 one. If uh, if you out this particular uh, word, then uh, the uh, display will be cleared. And afterwards, if you are writing the display with uh, display run, we may be using one zero zero. So if you supply with the zero 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 then we will be having this particular zero will be written for the RAM. So if you want to write under other uh, other particular data, uh, you can use different uh, control word for this particular AAA. So if you use a different word then we may be getting the uh, writing of the display. So that may be displayed in the 8 or 7. So thank you for listening.